Welcome to a video on Morph Target Guided with Fiber Mesh. There are several ways to create controlled placement and length of fibers in ZBrush. One of these methods is to create an ultimate state of your mesh as a morph target where ZBrush will bridge the gap between the two states of your mesh with fibers. Let's see how this is done. So what I've done is just loaded a project that is now shipped with ZBrush 4R2B. You can see here in Lightbox in our project menu this project that I've loaded. So let's begin by giving this guy some hair by using a morph target. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is delete the morph target that is currently on this tool and then store another, a new morph target. So I'm just going to use the masking brushes to mask out where I'd like to put hair on this guy. So let's start by putting some hair along the top of his head. And let's go ahead and put some hair on the side. Let's not forget the other side. I'm going to inverse my mask. And in the deformation subpalette, I'm going to use the inflate to just inflate out where I want the hair to be. That looks good. I'm going to use the move brush to just make some tweaks and some adjustments. So I want this hair to be actually a little bit taller than the ones on the side. Let's go ahead and we'll move that around. And we can make some minor adjustments here as well to the side pieces. And once I'm done this, I'm going to go ahead and clear my mask. So let's clear our mask. And the morph target, let's switch back to the bald head. Now that we have a bald head, let's put some fibers on him. So I'm going to hit the preview button. What's going to happen is ZBrush is going to create fibers along his entire body. What I'm going to do is click this button right here, which is our morph target guided. Click on that, and what ZBrush is going to do is only put fibers where our morph target and bald head are. So in essence what ZBrush is doing is taking the difference between what the bald head is and what our inflated part is and creating fibers. Also the length of the fibers is dependent by how much the geometry has been pushed out. So to see this let's turn off our gravity and let's also turn off our length variation so we have one length. Let's turn off our coverage so we have a little bit thicker of hair and give him a little bit more hair. Let's also give him some color. We'll make the root blue and let's make our tip a nice light blue. And there you go. We have just created a hair for our guy using a morph target guide. So let's go ahead and take a render and see what we have. You can see in the finished render that we've created some fibers based on difference between the bald head and our morph target. Remember, if you like what you've created here, hit this accept key button so that ZBrush will create a subtool. Now that the fibers are a subtool, we have the freedom to select any of our new grooming brushes. In this case, I'm going to select the groom hair toss to manipulate, change, and edit our fibers that were grown from the morph target guided. Thank you for watching this video and continue to watch more on pixelogic.com.